pay for overlays and it's just naughty in this video and if you can't tell by the title today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me slash life update okay so i literally did not think i was going to have time to get a video up tomorrow i was just thinking about it and thinking about it and i have to get ready anyways so i might as well get ready and film a video because I, I literally i don't have any pre-filmed videos anymore so i need to start pre-filming again this week has just been such complete and utter chaos that i have not had the time so tonight is my boyfriend's brother's birthday dinner and my mom is also going to be a vendor at a local event so i'm going to support before that and help her out but y'all oh my lord um there has been a lot going on a lot so i'm putting on my charlotte tilbury magic cream right now this stuff is just pure magic okay so first of all i have a couple announcements first i can't do math i can't do basic math literally my brother who's in high school can do my college level math better than me and i just I can't grasp the concepts, it's all online. So I'm having to basically teach it to myself. Got one of my lowest exam grades ever. And it's proctored online. So there's no hope for that. Um, but I'm taking college algebra right now. And I need it as a prerequisite for pre-cal. <laughs> yes, pre-cal. Can't do algebra, but I think I'm gonna be able to do pre-cal and in a summer semester. So it's basically, I have four weeks to learn every single thing that most people would learn in like a course that is a regular semester. I decided I want to be done with college early. So I decided to do a summer semester, pre-cal and algebra, and I am suffering. I am also taking composition one. I've been a strong writer my entire life, right? And I recently got an 81 on an essay, almost cried my eyes out, and I thought I was so good at writing, I realized maybe I'm not so good at writing. I don't know. <laughs> Just the gifted kid burnout is so real. I guess it makes sense because I never like went on to high school to further like progress my writing skills. I also wrote the essay in like. 30 minutes so i mean it makes sense and i just need to get my head out of my ass um but on the other hand i got into a summer research program um i am very excited for this it is the first summer research program that my college is having and i was selected to be a part of it and that starts next month but right now i'm having to do like 20 hours literally it takes me about 20 hours to be able to grasp the concepts a week of algebra. And that has just been horrible. Absolutely horrible. Today, I also had to not work on any of my schoolwork because I really had to go get cavities filled. Me and Randy had to hold her down while she took the oral sedation. So just been stressful very stressful um just a lot of stuff going on right now some exciting plans too that <laughs> i'll talk about later another time it's a secret i'm so bad at keeping secrets i've already told people and i'm not even supposed to but i'm gonna finish curling my hair really fast and then we'll continue there's a fruit fly in here and also my walls open there was mold in our walls and a guy came to like do repairs and stuff he never responded when i told him we made an appointment for him to come close up the walls he still hasn't responded to me he didn't show up so yeah um and the cost of living man just the cost of living but i'm gonna finish curling my hair and i will be right back to actually do my makeup with y'all okay so i just finished my hair loving the curls by the way feeling slay and I went to spray it and my hairspray's gone. My boyfriend used all my goddamn hairspray. I wanna get dressed though and I don't know whether I should wear this romper from Aritzia and like wear like a jean jacket over it. So I feel like this might be nicer or I just got a package in the mail.
I also have a story time for y'all that has to do with Target. Let's try this on. This is so flipping cute. I feel so much more like me now that my hair is done. Holy crap, I'll be right back. Okay, this is adorable, but also we're going to a fancy restaurant and I don't know if this is like too sporty. I'm just gonna keep it on for right now because I, I just wanna get ready at this moment. I actually feel really pretty right now. I, I need to pass. I haven't felt pretty in a minute because I've just been like doing schoolwork, not feeling good and stressing out. <laughs> college student life schoolwork not feeling good being stressed okay so now for the story time i'm just doing like a tiny bit of foundation because i am really loving my freckles right now and i'm about to be outside so i have an event to go to before this um but today i really got our teeth filled and this has been a struggle for a while um we have gone to the dentist like at least 10 times and attempted to fill her teeth three times and none of them have worked out except for today she actually got them filled um me and randy had to hold her down and force her to take the medicine we didn't even think she got all of the medicine in her mouth to be honest but she, they, i just really wanted them to try to fill her teeth she ended up falling asleep being fine amazing literally cried happy tears i was so happy because her teeth had been hurting her it was a bad cavity but after her teeth are filled, they're like, okay, she's gonna be groggy. She might be grumpy. I'm like, okay, no, that's fine. She can't eat for two hours though, right? So I have told her and I have told her for many months um, that if she wants a specific toy, she has to get her cavities filled. Um, simple as that, if you want your toy, Get your cavities filled. There's like this little panda at Target. She's been wanting really bad. So I told her once she gets her cavities filled, we'll go straight to Target and we'll go get this little panda. I know she's really been wanting it. So she gets them filled. Obviously we had to Target because that's the first thing she wanted to do. She wanted to go get her panda. I'm doing some powder right now to combat the Texas humidity. At this point, um, she still has two hours until she can eat. So my goal was to distract her basically and we can get her toy and just walk around so she can be distracted. Um, worked out well for a while. Then about an hour into our trip, she starts getting grumpy. And I'm trying to just hurry up and get out of there. And I'm looking for like a present for Randy's brother. I couldn't find anything at Target, so I ended up having to go somewhere else. But she's getting really grumpy. My little brother and mom were there too. They had ended up going to Target too, so we saw them there. And I'm just like kind of like eggs are on whenever she's mad. So I thought it was just like a recipe for disaster. They're asking me for Orbeez. Both of them want Orbeez. They both want me to buy $30 worth of Orbeez. First of all, I've seen the stories about kids dying from Orbeez in their digestive system. I personally would rather do some more research before I purchase my child Orbeez. Secondly, $30 on Orbeez? No, her price was already $30. I'm not spending that on Orbeez. Okay, I'm using this blush by Bare Minerals. I don't even really like it that much. It's a bit too shimmery for me, but I like the consistency and how blendable it is, so I still use it. Um. Anyway, actually I do like this blush. What am I saying? This is perfect. Um. So I told them both, no, no freaking way. I'm not buying those because Everly already has her toy and she had some other stuff picked up too. I was gonna buy her a dress, and cupcakes and this girl was literally getting so much stuff because she was so good at the dentist and this saved us almost three thousand dollars because that's how much it was going to cost for IV sedation if she did not cooperate with the oral sedation and she cooperated so hell yeah we're celebrating um randy literally bribed her with a bounce house so i guess we're running a bounce house too until she decides she's gonna run from me. She doesn't get the Orbeez. I said no to the Orbeez, so she runs off. And I thought, I didn't think she was gonna go far. Ow. I figured I'd just walk, out, walk around the corner, she'd be standing there or she'd come right back. So I didn't like directly like run after her, which obviously I should have, because we could not find her at all. She was nowhere to be found. 
So my mom goes up and she tells them, like, hey, we, we lost a kid. She's hiding somewhere. Um, and I'm going up and telling them, they're like, oh, we're already looking for her. Like, somebody else already told us that she's missing. Is this the child you're talking about? I'm like, yeah, my mom probably already told her them that she's missing. So, Avril is officially lost in Target. Lost. Nobody can find her. She's not, I searched all over where she, I thought she would be. And she's gone. Um, so, this man, thank God, says, here's them talking about like, oh, code yellow, missing kid, they're hiding somewhere. So embarrassing, by the way. So embarrassing. She's asleep in there. And this man, thank God, comes up and tells us, I, I saw a kid hiding in the woman's section. She's like laying under her clothes. That's my daughter. So, you find her. Immediately put her in the cart. I tell her, okay, well, you're losing everything you picked out, except for the one thing I promised you. Because that was a promise, I'm not gonna break my promise. You can get that, but you're gonna have to earn it back. Um, you're gonna have to like be good for a while before it's yours. So, yeah, she got, she got lost in a target. And then I look like a horrible mom, still buying her toy. I wanted to just explain to everyone, oh, she got feelings today. Like, I promised this toy already, I'm not gonna give it to her right away, blah, 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 because she's still in the cart, like, screaming, crying. And it's not usually how Everly acts. Like, she can usually pull herself together. But she got this play, not this day. I think it's because of the medication, because they told us every kid reacts differently. She could be grumpy, groggy, all of the above. Which, she was all of the above. Um, so, yeah, that's what happened literally today, and then I'm still trying to find Randy's brother a present, because it's kind of like a last minute birthday dinner, so I didn't really even know until a couple days ago, so I'm looking for this present, we end up going to Tanger, just running into one store and grabbing it, because the dinner's tonight, and <laughs> luckily, we got all our ducks in a row, but oh my god, was it stressful. But yeah, um, I I blame the medicine, to be honest, but she's still going to be held accountable for her actions because she needs to know, like, she cannot just do that. And it's unacceptable. Um, hmm. I feel cute. Really cute. Okay. Yeah, that's that's been my day, and then... Algebra is just kicking my butt. I have three homework assignments that I basically missed because I've just been so busy. And I really did not have the time to put into this class that's required. Unfortunately, I'm just trying so hard to keep up, but I'm just so behind. Like, because it takes me so long to learn the material. And it's just very, very frustrating. Um, I'm actually about to get on and do some before I go to my mom's little event, but life has just been crazy. And I also have like a huge secret that I can't tell anybody. I'm horrible at secrets. I hate secrets. And I've told literally one person and I wasn't even really supposed to tell them. Um, I'm just kind of driving myself nuts about it. Cause I just, I literally want to post right now and be like, oh my God, this is my huge secret. I can't. Nuts. I'm, I'm not a secret keeper. Like the second something happens, I'm, I'm calling everybody and I'm telling them. I don't do secrets, dude. You can't do secrets. Just something in my, in my blood. I think I'm just a blabbermouth because I, I just don't do well with secrets at all. It's rough. Are my freckles on my nose still showing? I'm gonna like dab them with this just to make sure they're still freckling on my nose. It's just my brow gel. I've just been loving my little summer freckles though, so I'm obviously accentuating them. Okay, just take down my hair. I called my boyfriend and I told him, hey, where are all my hairs right now? He's like, oh, in my hair. I'm like, okay. You're gonna have to buy me a new one. So, all right. 
So you know it's forty dollars, right? So hey man, I did not agree to that price. So well, sign up for it by using my hair spray. This is what we've got right now. And I like it. I like that it's not like super fitted either, because it's kind of loose. I think this is what I'm wearing. I was gonna wear either this or the red suit jumpsuit. If I wear the jumpsuit, I'd be more comfortable wearing like a jean jacket over it. So this is the fight. The fight, the fit. But yeah, that's that's been my life this past like week or so. And also yesterday I spent all day on the phone with insurance and ended up crying at the end and yelling at an insurance lady. But yeah, I'm ready. Thanks for joining my get ready with me and talk with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because I needed that. <laughs> to be honest, I needed that. But I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.